Hello everyone, this is Eric. I'm just going to give you a quick demo of my Wavesyn software. It's a Mirage program editor and also an audio processor for making Mirage discs. So the software runs on Windows and the Mac. Uh, it runs on the latest operating systems and it works on the Mirage keyboard, Mirage rack units, it works with a Mirage with a floppy. It works with a Mirage with a floppy emulator. So I've already got a, a disk loaded in the Mirage. It requires the Mirage advanced operating system to be running so that you can use some special MIDI commands that don't uh, otherwise exist in the operating system. So the first thing you do after starting WaveSyn is you configure the MIDI. I know my, my setup, I'm on port 2. And then I'm going to load in a sound, make sure everything's clean, just showing you just like it would be from the beginning. So now I'm going to load in the sound. So you can see in the output window down here, that I'm loading sounds from the lower bank 1. And you can see that it's loaded in new parameters. So those are the parameters for program one. I can change the programs and you can see the, the different parameters for each of these. So let's give a listen to uh, what we've gotten here so far. So we've got pretty much instant attack, as you can see here from the attack envelope. Uh, that's the upper sound. There's <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna change this sound a bit. Oh, and the filter is basically doing nothing, as you can see here from this filter envelope. So first thing we'll do is we're going to bring up the attack. Now you'll see that this notification popped up saying the editor has changes. So now you know you've changed something and you know that you're editing the lower one. So let's see what we got now with this new attack value. Okay, I want a little more attack. Okay, now I can bring up the peak. Now I want some release, and we want to get the filter in here. So I'm bringing up the filter values. Some sustain on that too. The longer attack, kind of to match the attack, the envelope, the amplitude. Now we're going to change some other parameters. Now I'm going to over detune it just to show what it's doing. Get the mix out there to about even. You can hear how that's pretty crazy, pretty crazy beating going on there. So we're going to bring that back down to something a little more reasonable. With these low values, it kind of just acts uh, to add noise. Now I'm closing the filter a little bit, so some of these highs will be cut off. So that really is wave thin in a nutshell. I can uh, do, basically these are all the parameters of the Mirage, not the configuration parameters, the, those, those global settings, but the, the program parameters. So now we can take this one and switch to say a different wave sample. You should hear probably a pretty dramatic change here.
that's just not a real good wave sample. I don't have the good uh, good edit point set up on that one. That one was a little more interesting. But you get the ideas. So we're going to now save the sound. And that's it. So WaveSyn, um, it's still in testing. I'd like to thank Mark and Clay, my testers. They're finding some great things for me to fix. Um, things basically just make it a little better. Uh, it already, already works well. I've been calling it alpha testing, but it's, it's pretty much beta right now. So you can go over to my GitHub page and you can actually download the software now. Check out the manual, see what it does, see if it's something useful for your setup. Hope you enjoy it, and if you've got any feedback, you can see in my uh, manual on the GitHub page, in the, in the wiki, it's got a contact information email address, so you can get in touch with me, send me ideas, uh, get in touch with me through Facebook, however you like. Thank you.